Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Grip and Rip Sports Cards back here with another video for you guys today. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about collectors are outraged at 2024 Tops Series 2. So before we get into all of that and why people are mad, including myself, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Can we get 100 likes on this video? That is the like goal for today's video is 100 likes. That's the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. Speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. So we are giving away hobby packs of the newest product at that time. So all you have to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content, and last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section on who you think your all-star representative is going to be on your favorite team at the all-star break. And I will pick the winner once we hit 9,000 subscribers. So there is that, and of course, this video and channel are sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. Guys, baseball's in full swing, and SeatGeek and I have partnered up to deliver huge savings for you guys who watch my videos. So if you use my promo code, click the link down below, and use my promo code Grip and Rip, all one word, you could save $20 off of your first SeatGeek purchase. That's right. You can only use this code if you've never purchased from them before. I highly recommend them. They're by far, without a doubt, the best place to buy tickets for literally anything. Concerts, baseball, basketball, football. I know football tickets are going to be going on sale here any day now with the NFL schedule coming out and things like that. So use my code, save big, and have a good time at wherever you are going. And of course, if you're a YouTuber, let me know and I'll give you a shout out in a future video. So Let's get into the content at hand in today's video. Well, a weird turn of events has happened. I'll say that. A weird turn of events has happened with 2024 Tops Series 2. A set that once was deemed, to me, you guys know this, I have been saying Series 2 was probably going to be the best set of the year in terms of base-wise. But, oh man, um, heh, I don't think that's going to be the case no more. Now, some of this stuff is not confirmed and some of it is, so we're going to be talking about all of it today. But as you guys are well aware... Um, pre-orders for Series 2 uh, happened yesterday. And it's funny, as of the making of this video, at 10 o'clock the night prior, so Monday or uh, Tuesday night, right, pre-orders are still available for Series 2. They did not sell out at all today. Not at all. I have been keeping track of what's happening and they have not sold out. Now, they might be sold out by the time this video goes live. I doubt it. It's been like 10, 11 hours since they've been up. And they have not sold out yet. Let's talk why. Because, man, oh, man, there are a lot of questions I have for this product. Number one, let's talk about the biggest elephant in the room. The prices. Oh, this is just a continuous battle with tops and fanatics over prices. And you guys know, I talked about this about maybe a week ago. Blaster boxes on Steel City for Series 2 are $30. Now, why that's important is because all of the other blaster boxes for 2024 on their site are retail price. Obviously... You would think that is not retail price. But after this news, I am starting to think that it is retail price. I do think Series 2 Blasters are going to be $30. I do think that. Because let's talk the positives first. Hobby boxes are $87. Those, I think, 
are the same price as they were with Series 1. Now, with shipping onto that, you're paying $100 off of tops.com. Your hobby store might sell them for like $95, $90 if you're lucky, maybe $85 if you're super lucky. But you're probably going to be paying about $90 to $95, maybe upwards towards $100 at your card store. So keep that in mind. But now we're going to talk about the real elephant in the room, the jumbos. The jumbo prices, absolutely ridiculous. So for reference, jumbos of Series 1 were $150 with tax and shipping, $160 something. Like 162 or something like that, whatever. A box of Series 2 Jumbo on the site, $180. With tax and shipping added to that, it's about $195. $195 freaking dollars. That's about a $30 uptick compared to Series 1. Keep in mind, they even... Docked packs, if you remember, they used to be 46 cards a pack. Now they're 40. Same amount of cards, packs, hits, silver packs, everything. And for some reason, Topps has the audacity, audacity, to charge 35 extra dollars for what? For what? What am I getting in there? That is $30 more expensive than the Series 1 Jumbo. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And people are wondering why Topps is becoming very hated. Stuff like this. I was going to probably pre-order a Jumbo today. I was really considering it. But after I saw that price, I said, oh, hell no, I was not. No chance. And as a matter of fact, I... After we talk about the other thing I'm going to talk about, probably I'm going to buy very little Series 2. I, I probably am, and you guys are too. After we talk about that, which I will get into, I guess, right now. The checklist. Oh, man. Now, this is not confirmed yet, so just take this with a grain of salt. But I'm going to give you my reasoning behind why I'm talking about this. So, the thumbnail of this video is Shota Iminaga. All right, perfect. Yamamoto is going to be a rookie card in this set because he's already been showing off. Jung Ho Lee is probably going to be a rookie card. I say that because he actually has a rookie card in Bowman, so I assume he is also going to be in Series 2. But where is Wyatt Langford? Where is Jackson Merrill? Where is Jackson Trurio? None of those three guys I just mentioned are featured or promoted anywhere in the Series 2 promotion. Now, if you are a smart company and a smart advertise, advertisement guy who works on this stuff over there, wouldn't you think you would want to promote those guys to promote the product? I mean, that's a no-brainer, don't you think? So, a lot of people online, including myself, now believe those three guys are not going to be in Series 2. Now, Jackson Holiday, I can tell you right now, is not going to be in Series 2. No way. Kyle Manzardo, not going to be in Series 2. Paul Skeens, not going to be in Series 2. They have debuted, well, at least Manzardo and Skeens, the, the, the debate could have been made for Holiday to be in Series 2, um, but clearly they're not going that route. Series 2 was probably starting to get designed just based off of this <laughs> right around opening day. I mean, if these, if these call-up rookies, I'm not talking about the international signings because it looks like every international signing, I'm assuming Uriel Rodriguez as well for the Blue Jays, they didn't show him off, but I assume... He is also in Series 2. I mean, it's a, it's a no-brainer. If all the other inter international signing guys are in Series 2, then Yariel will probably be in Series 2 as well. Um, Even like Jared Jones, my other rookie pitcher for the Pirates, who's just as good as Skeens, he is not featured literally anywhere as well. So take this with a grain of salt, because for whatever reason, 
The checklist is not out yet. You would think Tops would be smart enough to put a checklist out when the product goes up for pre-order, but they're not that smart, it looks like, because there's no checklist, so we don't know. But a lot of people, including myself, believe that um, Langford, Merrill, and Chirio are not in Series 2. And man, is that a bad look. That's, uh, that's a bad look. Not only for Series 2, but for Chrome. I'll tell you one thing. Chrome Update's going to be loaded. Chrome Update is going to be amazing if these guys are not in Series 2. Chrome Update was going to be great regardless. With Manzardo, Skeens, and Holiday leading the pack as the top three. But now it looks like three others are joining them in company in Update. That's what it looks like to me. Man, is that bad. Man, is that bad. For three guys who were called up the exact same day as the international guys. Because let's face it, they all debut, They all debuted the same day. Opening day was the same time for literally everybody. And you're picking those guys and not selecting those guys as well to put in the product? Now again, checklist is not out. No reason to get upset too much yet. But the fact that they didn't promote those guys in advertising for the product, but at the same time promoted Yamamoto and Iminaga, that's a big question mark. That is a huge question mark. And if you're a fan of, you know, the Padres, the Brewers, or um, whatever else, I'm drawing a blank, all the Rangers, I'm drawing a blank there for a second. If you're a fan of one of those teams, I would be upset. I'm upset that Jared Jones potentially is not in Series 2. Because that was the guy I was going to chase for autographs and whatever else. Parallels, whatever, right? And, of course, this leads me into my next problem. And people are upset as well. The odds are not out. The same exact thing happened with Series 1. And this is ultimately, this reason right here is ultimately why I didn't pre-order Series 2. And it seems like a lot of other people did not as well. Because the odds, if you remember, last year were not released until after the pre-order sold out. So what happened was the pre-order sold out of Series 1. And all of a sudden, at like 10 o'clock at night, that same night, um, the odds randomly just showed up. And the odds for Jumbos and Hobbies were terrible. Leading Hobby to be terrible. And of course, as you guys are well aware... Retail for Series 1, hangers, blasters, monsters, were all better than the hobby boxes and the jumbos. Here we are again, a couple months later, and guess what? The same problem happened again today. The odds were not out for the product. And after I saw that, I said to myself, I'm not having what happened again in Series 1. Because I bought a jumbo. I bought a jumbo as soon as they were out for Series 1 in January or whatever it was. I paid $160. And I got probably about $25 worth of cards, give or take, in that box. And I felt like I got ripped off. So, I said to myself today... If the odds are out and the jumbos look good statistically, I'll buy a jumbo box. But the price was up $30. There were no odds. So for all we know, all we know is that retail might be the best way to buy Series 2. We might, that might be the same thing. We might have another situation where Series 2 best way to buy is blaster boxes or fat packs or hanger boxes or Fanatics boxes, which I'm going to be talking about in a different video. Because guess what? Fanatics Series 2 boxes are going to be a thing. They are going to be a thing according to Beckett.com at least. So we'll talk about that maybe tomorrow. And I have the parallels listed for the holiday cards in Series 2. And spoiler alert, it's literally the exact same thing I predicted. So... Um, speaking of that, it looks like some top people might be watching my videos because I kind of find it funny how the holiday parallels are literally exactly what I predicted they would be. So, don't know what's going on there, but, uh, I can tell you right, I can tell you right now people from top to watch my videos, but, uh, that's a whole nother discussion for a different day. But, um, 
Either way to wrap this video up, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. Um, you know, let's look at the checklist for a second. Let's circle back to this. If those three call-up prospects are not in the product, as well as Jared Jones, I'll throw him in, in there as well, because Jared Jones is just as good as those three other guys. Actually, Jared Jones... Um, you know, is actually all better than all three of those guys, actually. Look at all those three guys' stats, and Jared Jones is actually better than all three of them. It's a pitcher, I know, but, you know, look at the stats. Merrill, Chirio, and Lankford have not had good starts of the season. They have not. Look at their stats. Look at their fantasy points. Not good. Jared Jones, on the other hand, very good, as well as Shota Iminaga. Those two guys right now, probably, if Jared Jones is in the set, might be the best two people in the set. Might be with Yamamoto. We might have, for the first time ever, on the channel, a top three of a product that are all pitchers. If Jared Jones is in the product. Which, again, I don't know. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Because wouldn't you think they'd want to promote that? Wouldn't you think that they would want to promote that? You know, no Merrill, no Trio, no Langford Anywhere. So... Your guess is, quite frankly, as good as mine. But the last thing I'll say is this. If I worked the tops and I was a part of the marketing team, and hopefully this gets wind at one of those people over there in the marketing department over at Tops and Fanatics, what are you guys thinking? Seriously, wouldn't it have been beneficial to have the odds and the checklist available to look at before we bought a box? Because I'm not buying blind again. I bought blind with Series 1. I bought it not knowing a damn thing except the rookies who would be in there because the checklist, conveniently, was out weeks prior to Series 1 pre-orders. But for some reason, they're not out right now. I don't know why. So the only thing I knew about was the checklist, and I thought maybe the Jumbos would be great, but they were not. So ultimately, I didn't buy a single Series 2 thing today. I didn't. And honestly... I might not buy a lot of Series 2. I might not buy a lot of Series 2 at all. Because, quite frankly, I would rather buy Chrome. Chrome comes out, like, literally about six weeks after Series 2. So, I could reallocate that funding for Series 2 into Chrome and have a better time opening Chrome. Which, I do want to make a video in a couple days talking about why you should be buying Chrome over Series 2. If what I just mentioned with the checklist and everything like that stays the same. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong, but a lot of people out there today were very upset, including myself. So that is pretty much all I got for you. That is pretty much all I got for you in this video today. So before we do leave, we have one more pack out of the second blaster box of Bowman. And I will say, the second blaster box I have opened has not been good. We have not pulled a single parallel or nothing in this box or pack is stuck. There it is. So, I'm hoping this last pack produces something good. Because if not, this would be an absolute dud of a box of Chrome. We have not pulled a Green Lunar. We have not pulled a Parallel. We have not pulled an Autograph. Nothing. So, let's see here. I feel like I'm freaking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory looking for a golden ticket. At least a Green Lunar would be nice. So, let's see what we got here. Looks like we do have, I assume that's a green lunar. So it looks like we have a, yeah, that's definitely a lunar, I think. I do believe. Could be a shimmer, could be a lunar, I don't know. I have to look at it closer. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see. This second box hasn't been too kind to me. I'm not going to lie. The second box was not good. And that's the thing with Bowman, right? And we got a Bryce Eldridge, not a first or anything like that, but a Bryce Eldridge, um, Lunar. Yeah, this is a Lunar. So let's, there's that. So honestly, this box was not really that good to me. Unless we pull an autograph, which I don't think we're going to. Aiden Miller, uh, that's a good one. That's definitely a good one to have. Um, Brooks Lee, we got Kendall, Jorge or George. I, I don't know. And then we got Camilio Diaz. So, Second blaster was not good. Not good at all. I would not say that was worth $30. All base, 
Not really any good chromes. I got like maybe one or two good firsts in that. The Aiden Miller is probably the best first I pulled, actually, in that box, actually. Um, a Green Lunar, that's not a first. So that box I bought from Fanatics was not good. Um, we have, I believe, five left. I'm going to try to buy at least maybe two more, maybe. Because um, honestly... I might be opening this stuff until Chrome. I don't know. I, I mean, call me crazy. I might buy like a couple blasters of Series 2 just to see what they're about. But uh, we might be opening Bowman for a while because I just don't see the value in Series 2 right now. Hopefully they come out with a checklist. I mean, man, if those call-up rookies who debuted on opening day are not in Series 2 like they were last year, by the way... I don't know what they're doing, man. I don't know what they're doing. But either way, guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think about this. Have you pre-ordered any Series 2 yet? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting. I don't think I am because everything I said was a very valid point in this video. So either way, guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.